Hello there, welcome back to Siren Shed. It's time for another Loco review. And today's review is the Dapol 57XX Pannier Tank in Great Western Livery. So it's 2S007012 and it is uh, 5764 in Great Western Livery which uh, anyone who's been to the Seven Valley Railway recently may well have seen this particular loco. So, uh, let's get her out of the box and take a look. I will say that I do like the box. Um, we've, got, we've got a QR code on there, uh, which you can scan. I think it just links straight to the uh, Dapol uh, website homepage, but uh, you know, good to see that they're trying uh, trying new things. Um, yeah, I don't normally talk about the box, but I do like this one. I think it's because it's quite a sort of uh, dinky little box and quite a sort of solid weight to the whole thing. So, let's briefly have a quick look at these. Uh, we need to light oiling uh, before we use it. And a few notes. Okay, so where to oil it. And removal of cab for DCC installation, which we will be doing shortly. There we go. We've got to unclip some handrails. Scary stuff, but we'll have a go shortly. And see if we can do that without breaking the thing. That's just the uh, warranty, 24 month warranty uh, with DCC supplies. So let's take a look. Uh, here we go, we've got some little tabs to make it easier. Certainly well packaged. We've got a whole bunch of things in there. We'll have a look in a sec. Some more bits there. Ah, uh, let's get rid of those. And pop the loco on there. For a moment. So, in here we have a sort of hex key, um, which I'm assuming is for the uh, sort of bolts on the motion there, if you need to take all that apart, hopefully we won't. Uh, we've got some couplers, different lengths. Uh, two different lengths of coupling in there and some tiny detailing bits uh, which is good to see however there's nothing about where to put them which is a little bit annoying ah, we've got some more couplers and these look very much like the Depol uh, Easy Shunt magnetic coupling in fact, yeah, I'm pretty certain they are. So that's that's excellent, really. We've got uh, the original Rapido couplings on there. We've got these uh, Dapol couplings in two different lengths, and we've also got the Easy Shunt couplings as well. So a lot of choice there, and uh, as I say, a little tool to uh, take the motion apart if you need to. So far so good. Let's have a look at the detail. There we go, a nice close shot so I can give you a proper look at the detail. Um, I've been looking at pictures of the preserved 5764 and uh, the only thing I can spot is the bottom uh, bar here for what I assume is the brake rigging is thicker than on the real thing but that's 
obviously just a, a compromise so that it doesn't fall apart every time you touch it and I think it looks like this area above the coal bunker is black whether that's painted or probably just coal dust uh, is another question <laughs> but those were the only real differences I could spot it looks really good to me Re some really fine detail on that these tiny handrails which we're gonna apparently have to take off to uh, fit the DCC chip uh, but yeah I'll just let you have a close look we've got some uh, vac pipes fitted already on the back there we've got some really fine detail on the cab roof tiny little rivets and the sort of brass covered coloured uh, don't know what that is sorry safety valve I'm guessing on there and yes we've got the Great Western livery so I'll just let you have a look all around it again on the front we've got some detail fitted a little cosmetic hook coupler and another pipe there hugely impressed with the model and the detail and the uh, choice of couplings provided <laughs> uh, let's have a quick look inside the cab so there is some detail inside the cab um, if you look the cab floor uh, is a blanking plate which I th think you can perhaps just about see uh, no you can't see there there is some cab detail on the sort of wall of the cab across there and it's all sort of moulded black but you're not going to see inside really you can there you go you can just about see the blanking plate at the bottom on the cab floor right I think we need to get a run in so I have now oiled the oiling points where it says in the instructions on the centers of the axle just with a tiny tiny amount of uh, oil so she's now ready to go so we've got the trusty test board I really should get around to putting some scenery on here but never mind and we'll see how she goes with first radius curves hmm Okay, let's try that again. The track was filthy, so I've cleaned all the track and uh, we'll give it a fairer test. Take two. That's better. And as you can see, considering she's never run before, that is pretty good. A little bit jerky at low speed, but I'm sure that will improve. very quiet and uh, yeah she runs very well which I'm hugely happy and relieved about because my last uh, Dapol Loco the B1 was not a very good runner at all so uh, I was, uh, had some slight trepidation about uh, buying another D Dapol Loco but I can only judge it on the models I've got and that looks brilliant so far Right, so I've got to unclip these handrails from the cab. Which, to be fair, was very easy. And then pull the cab up. Hmm. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So I've gone for the Lens Silver Mini Plus uh, decoder again, which I've been used before and been really happy with. Um, so there's pin one. So pin one goes over there. So there's the best view I can give you of the cab detail. And let's put the cab back on. And there we are, DCC chip fitted. So she's set up in the Z21 on the iPad, taking a photo. Uh, so she's in the fleet now, and she's been programmed on the programming track with an address. So let's see if she works. She certainly does. Slow speed performance with DCC installed is fantastic. She seems really well geared. Um, that sort of speed is quite far up on the controller, so uh, you can really get some fine control over the. Uh, the speed and do some really nice slow running speeds and that the, the lens chip does help with that too but I think we'll hook her up to some uh, coaches and uh, give her a proper run In conclusion then, absolutely fantastic model from Depol, really pleased with it. Super detail, beautiful runner, she goes around first radius curves, uh, great price too. Uh, I believe this was about £65, uh, can't fault it, really happy with that. So until next time, have fun, I'll see you soon.